Hello, this is a video tutorial on the Galaxy workflow for the annotation of metabolites from MSMS data, brought to you by the Phenomenal Horizon 2020 project. This is the overview of the workflow in the Galaxy editor, with tools for processing the input data on the left and the actual metric tool on the right. If we now run the workflow, we have to select the input data first in LCMSMS data for the feature detection tab, and then a file that contains MSMS spectra. In this case, we have MS1 and data-dependent MSMS acquisition in the same file. Now we can start the processing, and one by one the status of the individual steps will turn green into the completed state. The MS1 input is passed to XEMS for feature detection, and then on to camera for the ion species annotation. In parallel, the MSMS input is passed into MSN base to extract the actual MSMS spectra. Once the previous steps are completed, their output is combined into metric parameter input files. When they are all created, we have to refresh the history to see the new uh, added metric result history items that are the desired output from running metric on the input files. One for each MSMS spectrum in the input data. And that can be a lot. Galaxy is now cranking through this data collection, running those jobs on as many processing resources as available. In Phenomenal, these resources are managed by the Kubernetes container orchestration system that can be deployed either on public cloud providers such as Amazon, Google, or locally on a powerful workstation or a local OpenStack cluster. The more compute nodes you add, the faster this processing in parallel will take place. In the end, the individual metric result files are packed into a zip file for easier download and also collapsed into a Galaxy list of datasets that can be expanded again or processed in Galaxy further. Each MSMS spectrum is characterized by its retention time and the precursor M over Z value. We now want to visualize the results and create a PDF report with a metric visualization tool in Galaxy. We are selecting the metric result dataset collection and the corresponding collection of input parameters. The info view on the completed job shows a lot of details. This includes the tool versions, identifiers and timestamps. If we now display the resulting PDF, we see the top result for each of the input spectra, with a rendering of the molecule, retention time, the precursor M of Z value, and summary information. Each result comes with a hyperlink sent to Metric, which opens your web browser and sends the query to the Metric server at the IPB in Halle, where the peak list can be reanalyzed. You can select different databases try other parameters and explore the spectral annotation. The workflow is available on the public Galaxy demo instance hosted at the EBI and on your own phenomenal instances on the main cloud providers or especially for sensitive patient data on your local in-house OpenStack cloud. Thank you very much for listening.